During your academic career, you will be required by your professors to use scholarly or peer-reviewed journals for your research. Scholarly journals differ in a number of ways from popular magazines, and it is important that you know how to distinguish between these two types of periodicals. The following video should help you to understand the differences and learn how to retrieve only scholarly journal articles when you use library research databases such as ProQuest. One way to tell popular magazines from scholarly journals is to look at the covers. Look at the covers below. The cover of the popular magazine is designed to catch your eye by using graphics, color, and clever article titles. By contrast, the cover of the scholarly journal is rather bland and includes a very descriptive journal title, the publisher, and the names of the editors. Besides looking over the cover of the periodical, consider the following characteristics when trying to determine if a periodical is popular or scholarly. Appearance, target audience, authors, documentation of sources cited, purpose of the periodical, and article acceptance procedure. Let's take a look at the characteristics of a popular magazine. A popular magazine will be eye-catching using glossy paper, many illustrations, and advertisements. These periodicals are targeted to the general public rather than to scholars. The authors of articles in popular magazines are generally staff writers and reporters hired by the publisher to write for their publication and are not necessarily experts on the topic of the article written. Sources used to research the topic of the article are rarely cited. The purpose of articles in popular magazines is to provide general information rather than in-depth research results. Lastly, articles are usually written by staff writers on the payroll of the publisher, edited by editors also hired by the publisher, and then published. Here you see two pages from the inside of a popular magazine. Notice the appearance of the article. It is meant to catch your attention by the use of a clever title, graphics, and an easy-to-read layout with information grouped in short paragraphs that are clearly labeled with the main point. Popular magazines will also have abundant advertising, such as you see below. How does the Clorox bleach relate to the main theme of the periodical, in this case psychology? The answer is that it doesn't. It is there simply to make money for the publisher and, hopefully, for the maker of the product being advertised. A scholarly journal will have a rather serious tone and will contain graphs, charts, and tables instead of eye-catching graphics. These periodicals are targeted to scholars and students. The authors of the articles are scholars in the field and are not hired by or paid by the publisher. Sources used to research the topic of the articles will be cited in footnotes or a bibliography at the end of the article. The purpose of articles in scholarly journals is to communicate recent research results in a particular field of study. Lastly, articles often undergo review by peers who are also scholars in the same field of study. Here you see two pages from the inside of a scholarly journal. Notice the very descriptive title of the article. The author's names are prominent and include scholarly credentials. An abstract is included that describes the purpose of the article and the research methodology used. Notice the use of an informative table rather than eye-catching graphics. Articles in scholarly journals should include a bibliography or list of references to sources cited in the article. You might see advertising, but it will not be prominent and will usually be found grouped at the back of the journal. The advertising will generally be related to the theme of the journal, in this case psychology. The advertisement below is for scholarly books published by the American Psychological Association. Here is a comparison table that puts the characteristics of popular magazines side by side with the characteristics of scholarly journals. This comparison table is reproduced as a handout that you may print. The link to the handout is directly below the video. We have gone over the characteristics of popular magazines and scholarly journals, but many of the cues are visual. How do you retrieve only scholarly journal articles if you are searching a library research database such as ProQuest? Look for a checkbox on the search screen that allows you to limit your search to scholarly journals or peer-reviewed journals only. Most library research databases will allow you to limit your search in this way. 
Hopefully, this video has provided you with some tools to help you determine the differences between popular magazines and scholarly journals.